us back! Hey! It knows where you are!
real. Okay, then maybe she'll, I don't know, I mean, help us somehow. She would, if she could. But she's not my mother anymore. Then who is she? Their queen. Come on, time to get out of here. got their queen and Nas is right about what happens next we need a new plan no we need the old plan we need the hammer of dawn And speaking of one of a kind, help me hook up this skiff. You find what you're looking for? Yeah. And now we need to kill it. Is she, you know, all right? Not really. But let me ask you something. How long would it take to get the Hammer of Dawn up and running? Funny you should ask. The data drive you found months ago about the UIR. Yeah? Interesting stuff. Interesting how? You'll see. And lucky for us, I have an old UIR contact. Take us home, Sam. Got it, sweet cheeks.
The Vasgar, home to the Union of Independent Republic's secret space program. Never been in UIR territory before. You still have it. Vasgar was independent. The UIR had the pleasure of occupying... No, excuse me, liberating this glorious land. Okay, remember how I told you only pissed off nomads lived out here now? Meet Garen Paddock, the most pissed off and nomadic of them all. This is your old UIR contact? Two things I dislike, Baird. The cog and children. You've brought me both. Two things I dislike? Old men and deserts. And yet, here we are. Ha! <laughs> I like this one. Follow me. So, it turns out the UIR space program went way beyond what the COG publicly revealed. Somewhere in this Cosmodrome here, there's a rocket loaded with functional Hammer of Dawn satellites. I think we can get the entire system back online and start hitting the swarm where they live. If the UIR has satellites during the Pendulum Wars, why didn't you use them? The politicians wanted their armistice. Launching those satellites would have guaranteed another century of war. But still, someone our military tried to launch. It kinda triggered a small civil war, actually. So we know this Cosmodrome's layout. Where are the satellites? Try the rocket hangar. Here. And the wind flares are too severe to fly over that desert. So that's where your skiff comes in. Question. How do we know these satellites are still functioning? Or if they're even compatible with ours? Answer. We don't. And that's where you come in. Unless you're too cowardly, or stupid, or weak. <laughs> Who is that? A friend, believe it or not. But for now, get to know the layout of that place. There's a good chance most of it's buried in sand. Oh, and uh, come and see me before you go. Notice the part where no one's sure this will work. I don't care. We'll make it work. We have to. Maybe it's time you told me exactly what you saw in that machine. It's not what I saw. It's... It's what I felt. They have a queen now. They're not gonna stop. Look, I woke her up. So I have to stop her. Yeah, but this isn't all on you. Oh, let's just go see Baird. Good, you're here. Grab this module off the table. Jack's about due for an upgrade. Done. What's it do? Follow me. So a couple of days ago, I sent Paddock a care package. Some DBs and some leeches. 
Hmm. Intriguing. Potentially disastrous, but intriguing. Thank you. See, the way you describe Niles' machine gave me an idea. I call it Hijack. Go ahead. Try it out. What you got, Jack? Whoa, you figured out how to override the hive mind? Uh, no. Jack just floods their brains with voltage. It's crude, doesn't last long, but it works. So which swarm can we use it against? Well, our test subject data is limited, obviously, but... Uh, you know what? Go nuts out there. See what happens. Oh, uh, one more thing. Stop by and see Paddock before you go. He's out front. One more thing, Bear. Once we get this hammer up, I need to know if I can rely on you. Don't worry about that. This time, we're gonna do it right. You know what happened to Lizzie in the convoy. It wasn't your fault. Kind of you to say, but I'm the one who pushed the button. I had a bad feeling about it. I didn't want to do it, but I did. So that's on me. Speaking of uh, all that, have you seen JD around lately? Try my best not to, kid. This paddock. How do you know him? We were in a squad together, believe it or not. Also got court-martialed together. We kind of bonded. So you trust him? Well, he threatens to never speak to me again every time I see him, but beyond that, yeah, I trust him with my life. Come have a look, children. Until a few weeks ago, we were holding out fine against your so-called swarm. Then everything changed. They got smarter. Suddenly, they were wearing armor, and they started making these. Take one, if you want. So, you all have been fighting the swarm alone? Yes, which is why I agreed to let Bear come here. We help you with your rocket launch. You help us take back our land. Speaking of which, our water supply's been cut off. We've been trying to restore it, but your swarms made that difficult. To say the least. Getting the hammer ups our priority, but say we help. What do you need? Our water tower. You'll pass it on the way out. Haven't heard from my people there in a while. Could be nothing. Could be something. Check in if you can. All right. And now the big question. Are you children really prepared for this? Because your skiff's ready on the runway and the desert awaits. Ah, I see you have good taste in weapons. That is reassuring. So, I suppose you're curious about how Baird and I met. Yeah, sure. General Carr, Albo Bay, the light mask missile. I doubt these words mean much to you. Don't be so sure. Well, it might amuse you to know. I fought for the call once, alongside your friend Bear. He showed me that not all call are bad. They're just mostly bad. Okay. Good talk.
Anything we can salvage from these heaps? Heaps? They are called pariahs, the pride of the UIR armored division. Hmm. I'm gonna assume you stripped them for parts on You assume correctly. But by this point, the parts have been stripped for parts. Runways through here. Bear, are we expecting anyone? No, we are not. Well, this can't be good. I don't believe this. I hope you're not here to stop us. Actually... Because you can't. Kate. Maybe you should try listening for once. Kate. I'm listening. Yeah, well, don't bother. I'm done. Okay. Because I'm here to help. If you'll have me. I'm sorry. What? Dad told me about Mount Kadar. What you learned. And... Look, I, I know you don't trust me. After everything that happened, what I've done, I, I don't blame you. So what does Jin think about you being here? Jin doesn't know. Really? And let me guess, he's here to pitch in too? Yeah. Turns out Foz isn't so bad. No, I am actually. You just got used to me. Who the hell are they? Friends. They'll be joining us. Yeah? I don't like them. Shocker. You want these two along? Fine. But I deal with you, not them. You good with that? Like I said, I'm here to help. Baird. Come on, then. Let's hop in that raven and find some satellites. No, raven. The wind flares out there will kill you. So what? We walk there. Hey, man, if you want to walk, feel free. But we got other plans. Oh, it's not that skiff, is it? OK, man, before we go, I got a bone to pick. A big one. Sure. Pick away. You lied to me. And then, after you got hurt, you pushed us away. Like, like we didn't even know you. Look, I haven't exactly been myself, though. I know that. So who showed up today? Your friend. For what it's worth, I tried to convince him to embrace Dark JD. But something about you two brings out the best of him. Meaning most of the tech we'll find out here has been brick for decades. Yeah, J 
Jack should be able to power past any remaining malware and reboot the machines. He just needs access. All right, Baird. Understood. <laughs> say they're doing here trying to get their water supply back online in there. <laughs> All right, enough's enough. Let's get her out of there. Trick. Guess that's how you survived. Namira! Koge koi! Okran posi durtini of sufficient! I'm not really hearing gratitude here. All right, Delta. Grab anything useful. Then we head out. saved one of your engineers at the water tower. She was <laughs> a handful. Oh, her. So she survived. That's wonderful. Well, we still need help. Check the pump station and the old docks. We're drilling for groundwater there. All right. 
If we get time, we'll look into it. Delta out. I'll navigate. Meeting that engineer was sort of like experiencing the entire tragedy of Vasgar in five minutes. Tell me about it. Although she did remind me of my mum. Why are you turned up?